Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to see practically that how we can prepare a PT cash handling sheet. Also, how we can prepare a general ledger of PT cash. And we will see the journal entries when we are recording PT cash items. I will show you two formats. One, which is used by the company and keeping in their record as receipts and payments and one as same like as accounting softwares are doing. So let's start with the beginning today. We are using Excel so we have here an Excel sheet. First of all we need to define the columns. What are the columns we need to use? We will use serial number and we will use narration and we will use here date column also and here amount so one side is our receipt side and here the same columns here will reflect with payments payments so here at the top we can write here PT cash book and on the top we can write here company name. So these are the columns we will use in our PT cash format. Suppose serial number 1 on dated 1-1-2021 we have opening balance opening balance 5000 US dollars this balance is coming from the previous PT cash which we were handling we need to increase the format fonts okay so the opening balance we have here 5000 we will do here the total right? so we will understand how much balance is remaining with us ending balance so the total will be auto sum here also we will be having a total which will be auto sum okay so the opening balance is 5000 which is coming from the previous period. So we need to keep this opening balance. If you don't have opening balance there is no problem. So on 2-1-2021 we received cash from bank okay, which is 10,000 for different uh, operating expenses suppose. So here we have total balance with us now 15,000. So when we receive this 10,000 from the bank, our journal entry will be on dated 2-1-2021. Our journal entry is cash, PT cash account will be debit and bank certain bank account from where we are getting this money bank account will be credit so this is our journal entry which we will pass when we are receiving money from bank now let's come to the payments side the payment side the serial number one on dated 2-1-2021 we purchased some stationery stationery of 2000 so here 2000 are in payment so ending balance we will be having here we need to create here ending balance equal receipts minus payment so our ending balance is 13000 remaining with us so 2000 real we buy the stationery so what will be the journal entry for stationery here on 2 1 2021 we need to record as stationary expense account debit and cash account credit here 
this will be the journal entry now on the 3rd january we buy some tools for office use that is 3000 so the ending balance as you can see it is decreasing the total uh, spending is 5000 and total receipt is 15000 so our ending balance remaining with us is 10000 so as long as you will use this uh, uh, money the ending balance which is with you will decrease as long as we spend the money so this is the format which we are using in our companies to record PT cash now let me show you the general ledger which the accounting software are using when they are preparing a PT cash in their systems so here in the next sheet we are going to we need to define first the columns which we will use so serial number date narration and here we will be having debit amount here we will be having credit amount and here is the balance here I forgot one column which is voucher number voucher number so we are going to sort this date narration will be bigger here here is PT cash book ledger and on the top here we will be having company name so here on the serial number one on date it first first 2021 voucher number will be C R V or J V whatever the number will be we can put so on so the narration is opening balance opening balance will be debit and it will be with us 1000 from the previous period and we have here and balance here 1000 okay here we need to define the total and total okay on 2nd January we received funds against this voucher from bank so received funds from bank so we received some funds it means we received 5000 okay so the ending balance equal this value plus this value minus credit value so when we will make enter so we will drop down this till the end of this ledger so whenever we will enter any value our balance will automatically shown here so at the end we will equal receipts minus payments so here our ending balance is 6000 so here on the 3rd January CPV whatever the voucher number will be paid cash to buy some stationary items so here we will be having credit balance we buy 2000 reals stationary so our ending balance is decreasing to 4000 automatically because we have made here a formula which will automatically calculate the ending balance so on the 5th January 2021 we made another payment paid cash to buy some tools so here we will be having like 3000 so the ending balance is remaining 1000 6000 minus 5000 is ending balance 1000 this ending balance is going to reflect on our trial balance as a cash balance here on the 6th 1 2021 we received some money against cash sales so we received like 10,000 on cash sales 
So here our ending balance becomes 11,000. This is a sales. Whenever any sales happen on cash basis, so cash account will debit and the sales account will credit. This will be the general entry. We need to put here the voucher number, whatever the voucher number will be, CRV, so on. And here the date, on what date the sales occur. So this is the journal entry. For the stationery, I already told you, and the tools journal entry and the received cash from the bank. This is an internal cash receipt, so the cash debit and bank credit. So guys, these are the two formats which are used by the companies. Like here, I have made it colorful form. This is a format, PT cash, payment side, receipt side. And here we have the columns. All the formulas are written here. So automatically it can work. Here we have a ledger account for PT cash. So date, voucher, duration, debit, credit, and balance. Ending balance will be here and it will reflect to the trial balance directly. So this is the concept of PT cash formats. I hope guys you like this video. Please subscribe our channel so it keeps motivating me to create more videos for you. Thank you very much and goodbye.